What's up guys, Karai here again, and look, I just want to say the timing couldn't have been better because we've got some new Naruto Storm Connections gameplay to look at, analyze, and ultimately react to. Honestly, this is really amazing because I uploaded my first video yesterday, Friday. Um, shout out to everyone who tuned into that. Again, I've got more, stay tuned. But it's interesting how the day that video came out, we got this new gameplay. This new Naruto X Boruto Ultimate Ninja Storm Connections gameplay. Naruto Uzumaki Barium Mode and Sasuke Uchiha supporting Kage, which is an interesting name for a character. But nevertheless, let's get right into the video and look at this gameplay, analyze it. I'll give you guys my two cents on it and we'll go from there. All right, everyone. Here we go. Let's see what we got. Okay. I like it. That's a flashy move set. That looks like the up combo. Um, if you remember from my previous, if any of you guys haven't seen um, the recent reaction I did, we know it's going to be an up combo if the combos are heading more towards the upwards direction. Sounds pretty obvious, but just to let you guys know, that looks like the up combo. This is a whoa, I like the air combo. The air combo is really flashy. And then we get barium mode. <laughs> See, I don't know how I feel about that transition because I feel like before the transitions were a lot more dramatic and um, exciting. Not necessarily a lot more dramatic, but I don't know, just the transformation then barium mode. You know, like I just think about the sentiment behind that, that went into the whole transformation in the Boruto anime and how this was a much more intense, scarier, just heartfelt moment because Naruto's going all out. He feels like he's about to die, and um, mm -hmm. it's not a big deal, but eh, just a pet peeve. So, and this also confirms Baryon Mode to be an awakening, at least so far. Honestly, we really don't know what CC2 could do. CC2 could literally there, so there could be this Naruto where Baryon Mode is an awakening, and then there could be um, a character where Baryon Mode is just Baryon Mode, or there could be a new mechanic or just whatever the case may be. There could be something that allows him to awaken faster than other characters. Who knows? Because remember, we can't see health bars. But let's see what we can infer from the rest of the gameplay. That's pretty. Whoa. So he finished a combo. Let's go back and look at that. Finished a combo and dashed after it. Look at this. See how he just... He, he uh, jumped away. Looked like it was a cancel. After the down combo. Or maybe that could be the neutral combo. I don't know. Look at this. From this point. Right here. And then there's a dash away. And then a dash. That's interesting. Is it, is it possible that you can cancel at any point of a non-cinematic combo? Who knows? Looks like there's going to be a potential infinite. So this looks like his neutral combo. So right here, usually when they go into this tumble state where they're twirling, that means that you can cancel it for an infinite. So if you look right here, that twirling state probably means that he may have a, an infinite. That's beautiful. I just want to take, hold on, I just want to take a moment to, now we're about to see gameplay of the Sasuke supporting Kage, which is an interesting name for a character. I feel like they're running out of, there's so many versions of Sasuke and Naruto at this point. What do you call them, right? Um, literally, this Sasuke is supporting Kage. He's supporting the Kage, or more specifically, Naruto, because obviously in the fight, he's there with Naruto, and he's fighting um, Ishiki alongside Naruto, fighting Jigen alongside Naruto. He's supporting the Hokage, so I get it, but it's just kind of a funny day, supporting Kage. But as I said before, you know, anime, they make some of the most basic stuff sound cool, so I'm with it, supporting Kage, Sasuke all day, every day. He ain't my main. I'm still waiting on my main, though, best believe. I'm waiting on Kawaki to get announced, because I'm day one. I'm day one Kawaki, and I'm choking out all the barrier modes with Ishiki, too. I'm picking Ishiki. I'm choking out all the barium mode Naruto. So if you're going to main barium mode Naruto, best believe when we get up in rank, I'm choking you out with Ishiki. I don't care. I'm dropping cues on everybody, on every barium mode Naruto. I'm going to be a menace. But that's besides the point. Um, the point I was trying to make is literally I forgot what I was going to say. So let's just go ahead and look at this um, Sasuke supporting Kage. Okay. 
Okay. Go Sasuke. Ooh. Finally gave him True Spear in a regular combo. That looks beautiful. Okay. Okay, I like that. It's like a... It's like a, a Phoenix... Well, it's a Dragon Flame G2, but... I don't know. It, it gives me um, Phoenix Flower G2 vibes. I like that. Wait, what? My boy is skating with the lightning now? Hold on. My boy is skating. Look at this. Oh, whoa. Okay, I like that. I like that. That is beautiful. We, we got to look at that one more time. Let, let's look at that. Let's look at that one more time. My boy is skating. Why is he skating, man? My boy put the sauce in Sasuke. My boy is skating. Drip. Mm. Oh, we gotta watch that again. Like, I just gotta let it go one more time. I just gotta see. I gotta see my boy skate. I gotta see him skate. Look at this, man. This how. Mmm, so beautiful. I love it. My boy was skating. I love it. I love the attention to detail on the Storm games, man. Gosh, this game is looking beautiful. Um, I have a video coming up, and I'll go ahead and give you guys an idea of what it's gonna be about. It's gonna be about all the information we've been receiving from other sources outside of the official um, Twitter page, outside of official sources in general. Unofficial sources have given us a lot of information. And they said that the whole Storm Engine was going to get reworked into the Demon Slayer cinematic um, scheme. And as we can see, it has been. This game looks gorgeous. Demon Slayer waltz so Storm Connections can run. Sorry, Demon Slayer fans. I love Demon Slayer. I don't love Demon Slayer. I like Demon Slayer. I enjoyed the game for what it was worth, but it's crazy how this game is going to look just as beautiful as Demon Slayer. Because I don't know if you guys recall, but Demon Slayer looked gorgeous as a game. So the fact that this game is going to look that way is just amazing. And so far, I'm just in love. Like These cinematics are just crazy, crazy beautiful. Now, let's keep going. Okay. Okay, I see what you're doing, Sasuke. Dodge this. So that's interesting. That looked like a, a Storm 3 Ultimate Cancel. Let's go back. Let's view this combo. Let's actually view this combo. Sex. Mm -mm -mm. Shit, my shit dropping frames and stuff. That's how badass the Sasuke is. My, my computer dropping frames. So wait, I, oh. The point I'm trying to, wait, look at this. Okay, is this, let's see. So confirm, we're gonna get the Storm 3 Ultimate cancel. Now if you guys um have forgotten, in Storm 4 there's two different ways to cancel an Ultimate. Um, one way is you can jump out of a combo at a point that allows you to jump out of it and just cancel into an ultimate. And then there's another way, which was introduced in Storm 3, which is the ability to just cancel at any point in your combo that, as long as it isn't a cinematic, at any point in your combo by pressing the inputs for an ultimate jutsu, you can just cancel into an ultimate. And that's what this looks like it was. Now, one of the things about it is that the huge difference between the two methods of canceling ultimates was that... With the ninja dash option, the ultimate was unscaled. But the backdrop was that obviously you can only ninja dash at certain points. So it's not as flexible. Whereas the Storm 3 uh, ultimate cancel, you can literally, depending on how you use it, you can hit someone with an ultimate at a point in a combo that you otherwise wouldn't have been able to do. And so there's much more flexibility, but at the same time, that ultimate cancel scales the ultimate significantly. So you get a weaker ultimate, but more flexibility with the Storm 3 ultimate jutsu cancel. And then with the traditional way of canceling into an ultimate, you get an unscaled ultimate, but it's not as flexible. So those are the big differences between those two ultimate cancels. <laughs> okay, this is looking... Kier Wait, you're giving him... Whoa! <laughs> oh, man. That's a say. The fact that they gave this man Kirin? I'm almost speechless because it was so hyped to see Sasuke use Kirin. Like when we got Ultimate Ninja Storm 2 and you played that Sasuke with this Ultimate, it was always hyped to hit it. Now I will say, it doesn't give me the same chilling, intensifying effect. And that might be because Kirin was 
a jutsu of its own time at the point in time in which it was introduced. But this is still really dope. Let's watch that one more time. I want to watch this one more time. Um. Oh, I'm not even like I'm, I'm literally getting sidetracked because th this game just looks so beautiful. Let's watch this one more time. Mm. With this clap of thunder, we go. <laughs> okay, I like it. And that was pretty much the gist of it. Some people are saying that this, where is it? I'm trying to find it. I don't want this video to extend too long. But some people are saying that like, so if you listen to what we just heard, it heard like something was being activated. Like you heard the ching, and then look, he gets restood right here. So, is it possible that there's a new? So, people are saying there could be a new game mechanic of crumbling, or like just a restand in general, where you just activate it and then you can just restand. Like you can turn anything into a restand potentially. I don't know. That's a very interesting mechanic because it also looks like a combo is being finished. So I don't know. I mean, that's pretty dope because. I mean, that opens up a lot of different combo routes and possibilities there. And then we have two new screenshots from this post on the official, for the official uh, Twitter page of Naruto Video Games. Plus, here's a sneak peek of the original story mode with Boruto as the main character. What awaits Boruto as he faces down Kuna and, a, and an imposing red Susano. Stay tuned for more details. This is very interesting because, first of all, everyone's saying this Red Susano is not Sardis. So, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's an original story. So, that's really dope. It looks like they're going to put effort into this original story. And I wonder, I wonder who Susano this could be. In my opinion... We have seen, so something interesting that they did in Revolutions was they decided to not only include Shisui, but give him a Susano that he never had in the story, in the, um, in the manga anime. We never saw Shisui with a Susano, but they gave it to him because they just, because they can do it. You know, they can do anything they want to do, and they can kind of have as much fun with these games as they want. So that makes me feel like either a we're gonna get a non-canon like either a maybe sasuke susano or someone else's susano is gonna join like maybe we're gonna see a, a situation of where i don't know maybe somebody is working maybe sasuke is working with someone and he coats his susano in something maybe we could see a susano transformation maybe um I don't really know. I, they could introduce, you know, they could introduce Madara's brother, maybe. That doesn't really make sense. And then we could see his Susano. But at the same time, it's a story. So it, it has to make sense. I don't really know because this is, an, this is an original story. So I don't really know. I mean, I guess the only thing they could really do is introduce a character, maybe like an Uchiha, I guess, that uses Susano, which is interesting because more Uchiha's, in my opinion, more Uchiha's is always a good thing, as long as you diversify their moveset. Some of the coolest characters in Naruto in general, so I don't know. There's different routes here, but that's the gist of it. I'm happy I was able to cover this information earlier instead of way later, so. I'm happy I was able to cover this information way earlier as opposed to later because it's pretty fun just being in the midst of the hype and, and sharing it and things of that nature. Honestly, the game is looking great. The game is looking beautiful and can't wait to see what else they have up their sleeve, to see what other characters are going to have up their sleeve, 
And I'm going to make a video discussing some other stuff. I think that's going to be this upcoming Friday's video, so stay tuned for that. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for taking the time to look at this new information with me. If you have any questions, post them in the comment section. I'm going to get back on my comment game and um, start responding and stuff like that. Post your theories in the comments below. It'll be interesting to read them. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I got for you guys today. See you later.